heard from Brittany Griner just minutes ago for what is most likely her final time inside that courtroom. She pleaded for a milder sentence, calling Russia her second home. At times, she got emotional. I want to also apologize to my parents, my siblings, my Phoenix Mercury organization back at home, the amazing women of the WNBA, and my amazing spouse back at home. I never meant to hurt anybody. I never meant to put in jeopardy the Russian population. I never meant to break any laws here. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. Well, her defense team is also asking for a lenient sentence, reminding the judge that Griner had a medical prescription in the states for cannabis. But the prosecution says Griner broke the law, and they're asking for nine and a half years in prison, plus a $16,500 fine. Now, at this point, all sides have spoken. And after being detained for more than five months, we expect a verdict and sentencing in just a matter of hours. My parents taught me two important things. One, take ownership for your responsibilities, and two, to work hard for everything that you have. That's why I pled guilty to my charges. I understand everything that's being said against me, the charges that are against me, and that is why I pled guilty. But I had no intent to break any Russian law. I want to apologize to my teammates, my club, Genka, the fans in the city of ECAT, for my mistake that I made and the embarrassment that I brought onto them. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. Everybody keeps talking about political pawn and politics, but I hope that that is far from this courtroom. 